This is the Xsense app for the Xsense Link Pro Combination Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Alarm with Base Station. I'm going to select the sprocket icon, which brings us into the actual options for the Base Station. That would be the same as if I just tapped on the Base Station image itself. You get a nice depiction of what it is right there. You have your naming convention, so I just called it Base Station. You can tell what room it's in. So right now I have it as part of my living room. I can move that to a different location if I wanted to. We also have our volume control for mid-max because there is a speaker on the base station itself letting you know if there's a water alarm or an alarm elsewhere. Now we have our silent alarm on the back of the base station. There is a button. This option will allow you to use that button to turn off an alarm, so silence it. Right down here we have our Wi-Fi network device information, which I'm not going to show you because a lot of sensitive information in there, and then device sharing, so similar to how we did before, except right within the settings. And that's everything that you can do with the base station. We can see right here it's going to tell you the name of the alarm, its location, its status, if it has detected smoke, what your current level of CO is, as well as its connection level to the base station and its battery level. You also have a sprocket icon right here, which is going to bring you into your settings or tapping on the picture itself brings you into the settings as well. Up at the top here, we have our smoke indicator and our CO level. Notice neither are lit up because nothing's happening. And then here we have our battery and connection indicators as well. Coming down, we have the ability to change the name of the smoke detector. We have the ability to change its location. We can also select testing the device and we'll test this device and it will sound the alarm. Coming down, we have CO alarm history. Here you can see I don't have anything because the CO hasn't been off the charts. And then I have event history. This will be an event history of CO smoke and anything else that has happened. We can also come up here and select individual days if we had something that was really going off and we want to go back and see what was happening. We have notifications. Here we can have what notifications we'd like to get. So smoke alarm triggered, yes. Smoke alarm ending, not necessarily. CO alarm, yes. CO alarm triggered. CO alarm ended, eh, maybe not. Device silence, don't need to know about that. Don't need to know about device testing. Device malfunction, yes, and low battery. So you can customize this as you like. You also have the ability for offline notification. Device information is gonna show you some sensitive information. Won't show you that, but you can find your serial number and firmware and the like in there. And then help and feedback. If you select this, this will open up Xsense help page, and then you can select your particular device that you're looking for information about. And really, it's a smoke detector that's connected to the base station. There's not a lot of options that you're gonna change in the application, but I like the fact that it's there, and if the alarm happens to go off, you'll also get notified via the app. So that's everything that you could do for the Xsense Link Pro Combination Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Alarm in the Xsense app.